As I told you, Bentley, a loathsome creature does indeed guard the castle. Well, if that's true, advanced geological theory indicates the only place this boat monster could hide is inside that cavern. Forsooth! Perhaps also because it is the only cavern in the area? Uh, right. If this thing exists at all, it all sounds like superstitious nonsense. You doubt the veracity of my tale? Then allow me to vanquish this evil beast and quell your disbelief! Whoa, wait a sec, Gallus. Just navigating that cave's interior could be hazardous to your health. Nay, Bentley. Fear not. I will show you the true valor of the Cooper name. <laughs> All right, there's the cave entrance. Onward to conquest! Carmelita, what are you doing? Relax, Ringtail. Just keeping tabs on the Dragon Slayer. I don't recall you watching my back on any jobs. Only when I'm trying to catch you. But I find Gallus charming. He has a good heart, even if he is a headstrong goof. Then you better get going before Sir Goof gets himself captured again. These murky caves conceal the villain's presence. Time I should procure a more lightweight suit of armor. The foul creature will soon feel my wrath. This beast shall soon know the valor of the Coopers. And climb. Aside from the impending monster battle. Sounds! This dragon is not flesh and bone, but iron and steel. Holy hand grenade, it's a robot! Machine. 
Now, foul demon, face the fury of Sir Gallant Cooper. Gallant, no! <laughs> hmm, mayhap Sir Bentley had a point. Tin can with teeth. Let's see what you're really made of. and a lack. I feel as though I have been ground into sausage. I... Are you hurt, Sir Galleth? Methinks I am still whole. I thank you, milady, but must confess, rescue by a fair damsel wounds me deepest. I think I understand. What do you say we make this our little secret? I would be thrice grateful and in your debt. What a fair and gracious maid you are, Carmelita. I think I like the sound of that.
Okay, listen up. We need to hit the Black Knight where it hurts. And that means taking down the operations he set up in the village shops. First up, Murray, you'll need to visit the tavern. Sorry, big guy, no time for snacks. The tavern has been converted into a fuel production facility for those robotic guards. Get in there and do what you do best. Tear the place apart. Next, Sly, you'll need to revisit the shoemakers. We're going to shut down the machines fabricating those ginormous parts. Last but certainly not least, Gallif, you'll need to infiltrate the bakery. My instrument readings show it's the main power source for the other production facilities. You're the only one who can reach the second floor where I believe you'll find a generator. There's no time to waste, so let's get going. Okay, you heard Bentley. Together, we can bring this whole operation down. Yeah! Let's go kick some butt! Murray, you need to get to the tavern. I think for this one, you could go right through the front door. You mean like, punch through the door? I meant walk, actually. Well, uh, I like to have options. Shut down the mixing system. Try disabling those bats. I got you, chum. The Murray is gonna rain destruction like a cloud of pain. Interesting analogy. Murray, try throwing the guards into the vat. to the shoemakers. Whatever's being manufactured in there can't be good. Let's shut it down. Consider it done. Maybe next 
Next time, Bentley can invent some laser-proof robot. I'll take over from here, Sly. Way to go, Bentley. This place is definitely closed for business. Gook. Time for action! Oh boy! Keep going, Alice! You need to shut them all down! Alice, don't touch the lasers! It'll reset the system! This sorely... 